the Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Good morning, friends. My name is Jacob, the director of music and children's ministries here at PUMC. It's so good to see everyone today. Now, kids, I want you to gather around for real quick so we can wrap up the month uh, so we can talk about what it is we've been talking about all week. And what is it that we've been talking about all week? Friends, our block party, everyone is invited. Now, our friends we talked about at the beginning of the month, choose your friends. They're the ones that help influence you. They help bring you joy or they can help lead you down a wrong path, right? Right, right. Hopefully you're picking joy and hopefully you're heading down the right path in school and in friends and your neighbors. You're heading down that right path. Right, parents? Hopefully they're doing that, right? That's my prayer for y'all. Well, that's what we started the month with. Now, imagine if you would, a cake sitting right here in front of me. Do you see it? What's your favorite flavor? Chocolate? Strawberry? That's my favorite flavor. Strawberry cake. It's delicious. So that's my favorite cake, okay? So we've got our favorite cake sitting in front of us. Now, friends, that's kind of like the base. What is the icing on top of the cake? The best part of that cake, right? If you don't have the right icing, it's just not a good cake. Am I right? That's right. When my husband and I got married, it came down to the icing. It did. Not our marriage. Come on now. The selection of the cake. The selection of the cake. It came down to the icing. Okay, the icing, the best part of the whole thing. That's, where, that's what it is, right? Well, as we're talking about friends all month long, the best part was saved for the very, very end. Our best friend is Jesus. How can Jesus help us? Well, I, wanna, I want you to think about for just a second what the word mission means. It's a big word that we hear uh, oftentimes preached about in church. We all uh, sit in, around in church. We hear that word tossed around. We hear the word missional, and those are like, whoa, those are big words. Whoa. My upbringing, I grew up in Southern Baptist, and we were all about evangelizing. We were all about taking our tracks out and sharing Jesus with people. Are you saved? Do you know God? No? Oh, let me help you. That's what we were all about. That's what I was, I was taught. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that's what I was taught. All right. Well, what does that have to do with today? Well, Jesus is your best friend, and being missional really, as I've been going through seminary, brings on a whole new meaning to me. It's not about going out and telling people uh, about Jesus and asking them, Tracy, do you know Jesus? It's not about that. It's about letting God's love shine through you to the community around you. Now, I have a story to tell you about this young boy that was traveling with his dad to uh, gymnastics. And he was traveling, that's pretty specific. He was traveling to uh, gymnastics, and they pulled off the interstate, and they saw this man standing right there on the corner, and the, the boy asked the dad, Dad, what's he doing? The dad said, well, he's asking people for money because he doesn't have food, and he doesn't have a place to live. And, and that's his way of trying to, to get some money. And he said, well, I was just given this dollar bill. Can we give that away? I said, absolutely. If you want to give that to him, we absolutely can. Well, that man was like three or four car lanes away from us, and the light turned green. We didn't get a chance. So the dad and the son, they drove on down to gymnastics, and uh, they turned around and they came back after gymnastics praying that that man would still be sitting there. And we, they pulled up and looked over and the man was still standing there. So the boy said, Dad, he's still there. And so not only Dad gave some money, the boy said, Sir, sir. The man came over and he gave that man the money. Now what does that mean? That means that that boy let the love of Christ flow out of him to that man that day. It's as simple as that, folks. It's as simple as that. How do you let the love of Christ flow out of you? And my, uh, the lesson that I get from all of that is 
Let the children speak to us. Hear the children when they speak. So kids, when you're with your friends at school and you feel God telling you to do something, whether it's pray for them, help them, whatever it might be, being missional really means letting God's love shine through you. Okay? That's simple enough? All right. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for today and the children. We ask that you would help us to be missional. Help us to allow you being our best friend to shine through us to those around us. It's in your name we pray. Amen.